wake upon the shores of an inky expanse, the sea of ink. In the dark ahead of you, a speck blinks a light and pulses as you move deeper into the void. The glowing mote of light blinks more brightly with your approach. As you reach to touch it, it inscribes strange glyphs into the air, some unknown language. Embrace the light. The light begins to surge, growing brighter and brighter until all you can see is light. And then, gone. A moment later, it blinks a light by your side, bound to you. Maybe this is the one, Nip. Bin, the poor soul is a needless. You know as well as I that they are unable to speak or to bite. But they found a new quill. Author knows they don't like those needless very much, so something has to be going on. That makes no sense. These stories have been fading long before more quills started showing up. Best leave the needless to fall right back into the sea where they came. Aww, why don't we at least let them choose their aspect and forms first? It'd be a shame to not even see what they choose to be. You're not dead yet, so that's a good sign. And the form you chose, it's wonderful. Yes, and you've bound a quill. Quite unusual. It seems the ink has plans for you. Oh, yes it does! You've already performed bindings and everything! Quite the spectacle it was! Yes, a needless and a binder. Well, the Guardian of the Void ahead will not be as kind. Should you defeat it, Perhaps you and your quill truly are fated for something grander than the sea. Or not!
seems you're a binder of some strength. Though, you will continue to find these anomalies spread throughout our worlds. They're taking all the ink away from us! Bad little unraveled, if you ask me! And threatening our stories, our very existence. But enough from us! Time for you to jump back up to the Athenium and get out of this dank old place! The Athenium is no place for us, but this will not be our last encounter. The ink is not yet finished with you, Needless. Your form is young and still without purpose. But trust in your quill, and you may just find it. You appear inside a cavernous hall, packed with emptiness, but full of stories. A massive clock of books and gears looms above the expanse, tick, tick, ticking away. From the countless black depths, damp breezes moan to life and stir the pages strewn about the rubble. Your quill urges you deeper into the cavernous space. Arthur be damned, another one. All you needless just traipse in here, still damp from the sea from which you crawled. I thought that surely the Inkbound had created you with more sense than that. Yet you all continue to surprise me. Well, you're in the Athenium now, needless. And no binder worth their words is going to give you unfettered access to our stories without a proper proving. A short dive into the inkwell should give us a good idea of you. And at the very least, knock a little sense into that empty head. Try not to drown too quickly. The source of the ticket. A giant wheel of books and gears which all paths lead to. The heart of the Athenian. Don't you touch that bindery, Needless, or your next dive into the inkwell will be your last. If even one book shifts out of place, the worlds to which you travel might collapse entirely. Not a heart, then. A brain. The sea of ink laps against the straight edge blocks you walk along. You're back again. But it's not quite the same sea, is it? You can make out the edges of stories just beyond the horizon. No, there's intent and form here.
A once vibrant market serving binders throughout the ages, now reduced to rubble and ruin. The feats of the Athenium are plain to see, grand in design, but vain in construct.